from one season to the next. What's going on guys? We're out here in southeastern Nebraska gonna go do some bass fishing. Hopefully the pre-spawn's starting, so we're gonna, you know, try to hook a few. It's about 40 degrees. The weatherman lied to us, said it was supposed to be sunny and 60 today. It is cloudy and 40, and it feels like it's gonna rain or snow, but it's really cold. But we're just gonna go out and try fishing. And I guess by we, I mean Max and I. This What's up, guys? is High Prairie Sportsman member Max. He's our fishing expert. Guru. Uh -huh. All right, let's take a peek under the hood here. Let's see what we got. Spinners? Nope. Nope. Oh yeah. Thinking we try some jigs first, or some swim baits. Swim bait, right there. That's the bass killer. So today I have tied on a six cents uh, bluegill square bill. Throwing that on a medium action or a medium uh, fast action rod, and then a black and blue chatterbait on a medium heavy fast action rod. So we're gonna give those a try today on this pre-spawn. Hopefully these things are feeding up. If that doesn't work, uh, we'll switch it up. Probably go to a jig, um, and then of course I have a net rig tied on too. So let's see how this goes. Oh, oh, oh. That a boy, Matt. There we go. There we go. Nice. That's why you use the swim bait. Nice. I saw it come up and chase. Did it? Yeah. Look at that. Nice pre spawn bass. Decent fish. Not bad. First one of the year. That's why you use the swim bait. I know. I might have to go tie one off. Max is having a little bit of some issues. Tree pounder, right here. I got something on it. Tree pounder? Moss. Salad. Yummy. Max is just having a heck of a day. Just a horrible day. Been hitting trees, lost a lure. Ugh. That was my new chatterbait too. All right, well, one fish caught so far. Headed to the other side of the pond. I'm gonna go try to hook some more, hopefully. Look at this. Max is way more organized than me. He's got it all labeled all nice. Topwater's a little bare though. This is only the topwater lures you need. The, I guess I have one quiet topwater bait. You know, walk the dog style. Yeah. Um, I got two whopper ploppers. Two tackles and then a buoy off the pad smasher uh, frog. Really, it. I don't know what more I could use, you know. They're taunting me. Dang snow geese. Alright, let's go to the fire spot. Let's go grab a swim bait. Is that what you're taking? Yep. That's all you need. Boom. Be really surprised if I don't get a bass here. That's just what surprises me, dude. Is like, you think it'd be just absolutely cracking Oh, I didn't have grass. I said bass, not grass. Oh, 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 there we go. There we go. There, he smashed it. <laughs> awesome. Little guy. Oh, he choked it though. Yeah. Look at that. He destroyed choked that. Choked it. I mean, yeah. get the pliers out. He destroyed it. Absolutely choked that thing. Bluegill swim baits though, every time. Every time, never fails. Try not to hurt him. There we go. Good job, bud. Goes. That's two. That's a hog. That's a hog. Oh yeah. That is a hog. Well, two pounder. That's a nice bass. That's a nice one. Yeah, it is. Look at that. 
Boom. Nice bass. Skinny though, but look at them red lips too. I think we found the spot. Look how red them lips are though. Look at this thing. Nice fish. Big one. <laughs> that hit, you know, three feet from us. <laughs> like, I, I thought I was snagged, dude. It just, like, stopped. They just come out of nowhere. It's yeah. crazy. Oh. Max found another tree. <laughs> oh, that sucks. <laughs> oh. Holy crap. What? I just had a monster one just come up and look right at my feet. I was just messing around with it. Oh, oh, Max. Max. Slaunch. Oh, no. No. Oh! Didn't even make it. Oh! You guys, oh, you feel my pain, don't you? Hooked up, hooked up. Bucket mouth. Hooked up. That's a good looking, oh, another skinny fish. Right red lips again. Come on, boy. Right at the top of the mouth, though. Yeah. Good fish. Nice fish, dude. Bucket mouth. Get bigger. Ah, oh, come here. light line on here but decent fish another good one good fish though nice one <laughs> look how big those guys are huge come back in november yep yeah, i think that's uh we'll just call that a day oh it's always a good time to come out to the zavonic reserve Reservoir, sorry, reservoir. You know, you can't ever turn down this opportunity to come out here. You know, it's too good, too good to pass up. Always fun fishing with Matt, getting out, you know, dropping the poles. Yeah. Look forward to making more videos here this summer. Max is going to have his own playlist. It's going to be a fishing playlist mainly, but he's our fishing expert. One don't, of them. Don't call me an expert. Let's go. <laughs> Far from it. Far from it. I just uh, like to act like I know what I'm talking about sometimes. All right. Well, we're calling that quits for the day. Had actually a pretty good day. I didn't, you know, when I saw the weather, when I initially saw the weather forecast, I'm like, oh, that's going to be awesome. 60s and sunny, you know, great day for fishing. Weatherman lied to me. Came out today. I was like, yeah, I don't know what it'll be like. We'll give her a go. And we ended up catching some bass. So, and pretty, pretty decent bass, actually. So it was a good day. Uh, Guess we'll just get back after it. Nice one.